Welcome back to Coding with Kyle. In today's episode, I'll be showing off how to use HTTP outcalls using the new system feature and giving you a simple example of how to write a canister that proxies requests to a URL in Matoko. Let's get it started. All right, let's kick it off. We're going to be using DFX 0.12.0, uh, whatever version's available to you. In this case, we have the beta release at the time this is being made. We're going to start by creating a DFX new project named Proxy. Uh, first things first, we need to remove the uh, front end because we're not going to be using that in this example. And now we can go ahead and copy our types in. Uh, you can just paste this whole file in directly. Uh, it'll be available in the sample code for this project. And basically, that's going to give you everything you need to make HTTP outcalls in Matoko. All right, and here we're going to define our function proxy. In this case, we're just going to take in a URL and have the canister call it for us and report back the result. You can see that we're using the canister HTTP response payload from the types library. And now we're going to define a request using the canister HTTP request args. A couple of these things are useful. Obviously, you can see a max response bytes and headers. Uh, we're just going to set these to their default settings. Um, but in certain use cases, you would want to uh, have the ability to configure these as you need. This transform method here that you can see uh, is just basically copy pasted. You can find that from the Definity examples repo. And that's going to strip out some things that have the possibility for uh, not matching up the exact same sequencing, like timestamps or uh, a few other variations. We've set it up so that the request now is loaded up with cycles that it's allowed to spend. And now we can define an actor which is going to talk to the management canister, make our call for us. And we just simply use the ic.http request API, pass in our request, and return our response. Let's see what happens when we call it and have it query a Web2 sample API. We're going to use an API from JSON placeholder here and see what our canister reports back. There you have it. Uh, you've got a body, which has been decoded by DFX, uh, all of the headers that were attached. And in pretty short order, you've got a working example. And now you're ready to go build your own Matoko canisters using HTTP outcalls. Have fun.